Thank you, Peter. And during severe weather threats, you may find some comfort in taking your family and loved ones to a public storm shelter or safe room. WVA 23's Chelsea Barton joins us now live with more on safe places in our area. Chelsea? Well, unfortunately, here in Tuscaloosa County, we currently have at least 11 of these safe places. Here's a list of those locations listed on the Tuscaloosa County EMA website. That's TuscaloosaCountyEMA.org. Within the city of Tuscaloosa, there are three safe rooms. The first at the New Alberta School of Performing Arts on University Boulevard East. Another at the Tuscaloosa Career and Technology Academy on Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. And a third safe room located at the Tuscaloosa Magnet School on McFarland Boulevard East. In Ecola, there is one storm shelter on County Road 21 near the Ecola Volunteer Fire Department. Coker has a storm shelter that sits behind the water authority next to the town hall. According to the EMA website, this shelter will open as soon as a tornado watch or warning is given for the area. Within the town of Coling, there are three storm shelters, one next to the fire department on Highway 11 North, another on Stevens Loop adjacent to the recreation complex, and a third shelter within Stonegate Mobile Home Park on Stonegate Drive. Each coaling shelter will open in the event of a tornado warning. Two shelters are located side by side in Brookwood behind the town hall next to the baseball fields. These shelters will open under a tornado warning. And in Vance, there are two shelters as well, one behind High Quality Fuel Gas Station on Alabama 7 and another across from Wallace Tingle Park on Tingle Tangle Road. It's listed on the EMA website that these shelters will open in the event of any severe weather. And if you absolutely cannot get to a safe room or a shelter, you may be just fine inside your home or place of work when severe weather strikes. Tuscaloosa County EMA Director Rob Robertson gave us some guidelines today on what parts of your home are the safest during severe weather. He says if you have a basement, that's where you need to be. If not, your next best bet is to close yourself inside an interior room or hallway with no windows on a low floor. You should also avoid doors and walls that connect to the outside of your home. Robertson also has some tips on additional measures you can take to protect yourself during severe weather threats, starting with your head. Okay. Bicycle helmets are great. If you have a football helmet, that's good. Hard hats. Uh, a heavy book that you could just hold over your head may be another option. Um, but most people are injured by flying debris in tornadoes, and it's the debris impact that causes those injuries and and fatalities. If that were to occur, you know, you're wanting to put as many walls and barriers between you and flying debris. For additional severe weather tips and information, you can visit TuscaloosaCountyEMA.org. Live tonight, I'm Chelsea Barton, WVUA 23 News.